familiarity now this week, John, chance to practice with these guys, and now got an opportunity to play in a game. And, and what does that feel like? Because you can see the light at the end of the tunnel here. Yeah, for sure. Uh, obviously, uh, a lot of guys, a lot going on over the, the course of the first, you know, five, seven days of camp and, and getting your feet wet and trying to feel good and, and get back into rhythm uh, here. And then as uh, numbers kind of get smaller and smaller and we get closer to the final group and, and getting back out there uh, uh, with everyone's always obviously a lot of fun and we're looking forward to this year and continuing to prepare and push each other and, and get better on a daily basis. So um, good couple days of practice and have a good opportunity to uh, uh, do some good things tomorrow and obviously uh, uh, use this as a good test to prepare ourselves. Spoke with Austin just about bumping that power play from eighth last season up to five or beyond if possible. Is, is that a tweak uh, that goes over the course of the season, or do you want to stay away from any sort of predictions that way and just see how it goes? Well, I think we want to be as productive as we can be. Um, worrying about the end result and where you end up, uh, I think, takes the focus uh, out of where it needs to be, and that's just on the daily the daily work that has to go into it, the process of it, and how to continue to to adjust and get better, uh, find our strengths, our weaknesses. But certainly, I think with uh, our skill set and the type of shooters and playmakers we have, we obviously want to be very productive. How are you adjusting to the uh, different position on the power play? Uh, just trying to uh, be versatile and obviously understand my role and uh, trust my instincts and, and read off those guys. And obviously, playing with them for a year now, you get a better sense of uh, what they like to do, uh, their habits, uh, their, t their, their style of play, and kind of um, how I can read off that and be available and, and continue to, to uh, establish what I do out there. So um, I played a little bit there before uh, my last year in New York, so I had a sense of that spot. And, and then uh, obviously with Farley uh, just kind of signing everyone's role and kind of our structure throughout, just get a sense of what he's looking for and how we uh, can play off one another. And what's your relationship? Uh, how's, what's the rapport like with the two new assistant coaches? They've been great. Uh, they're hungry and they're excited about this opportunity. and helping us uh, get better and, and uh, you know, fill in their role and, and how to uh, be a, obviously a very productive coaching staff. And uh, they've had success uh, at many different levels and in different uh, spots in the league as well. So uh, we got a lot of respect for those guys and, and they're, they're fitting in really well. From a forward perspective, what's it like playing with Tyson Berry? Well, it's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, when he's got the puck, uh, you want to get available and be open because his dynamic ability, uh, the way he can shoot the puck, the way he can find the open man, his poise and his patience. Uh, you know, he can use his feet to get out of a, a lot of pressure and be able to get up the ice. So, uh, you know, when he's out there, you got an extra man on the attack for sure that, uh, 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 that can help us uh, offensively. And, and obviously, he's very potent from, from the back end.